what is space time why space and time are merged together and how also how can we perceive time as the fourth dimension okay what is space time we we understand the universe we visualize we perceive the world the universe in three dimensions length breadth and height right the three dimensions that's what we see and we can also perceive the passage of time our perception of time is kind of vague and fuzzy but we see the universe uh, see our life and our when the events that happened around us in a chronological linear fashion so that is what gives us the the impression and the and the and the understanding that time is passing so time is something we have a fuzzy understanding of and when it comes to relativity and quantum mechanics time is looked upon as a linear parameter it happens it's a linear and and in a linear factor linear parameter in quantum mechanics time is an external classical parameter it's not something that emerges out of quantum mechanics and when it comes to relativity uh well let's talk about special relativity first the the easier part of relativity there are two kinds of relativity special relativity and general relativity so in special relativity uh the the uh, interval between two events has the parameters of distance as well as time okay so you can see that time as well as distance are included in the space time interval in uh, uh, in special relativity okay and in general relativity what einstein did was that he constructed a four dimensional view of the universe in which we have three dimensions of space and one dimension of time so it's a four dimensional view of the universe a mathematical view of the universe and what general relativity tells us okay the einstein equations it's it's a very very rigorously tested theory it has withstood all tests and it is correct so what it tells us is that there are four dimensions three of space that we can see and one of time that we perceive and time goes linearly well it looks like it goes linearly and matter exists in this four dimensional stage so whatever happens in the universe whatever events and uh, happen in the universe they they are played out on this four dimensional stage called space time three dimensions of space and one dimension of time and every object every every everything in the universe every star every planet every human being has a world line which which is a, a path on the four dimensional stage of space time and the presence of matter curves space time not just space but also time all right and the curvature of space time tells matter how to move so that's the theory i mean that's the best i can tell you in words to truly understand physical theory you have to look at the mathematical equations but for that you have to understand the mathematics when it comes to general relativity you have to understand uh, understand tensor calculus and all that but that's how one could describe space time so space and time we see that they are merged together we see that in special relativity itself in the space time intervals between events so space and time the these two parameters they come together in the equations and then in general relativity it goes in a whole different uh, to a whole different to a whole different level essentially 